an argument on the board. We should get rid of all student grants because it's a drain on an already overburdened state slash federal budget. It's unnecessary due to student loans and many students abuse the system through fraud. So how many of you agree with me? Heck yeah, let's get rid of it. Maybe not completely get rid of it. Maybe tweak it. How many of you disagree with this in whole or in part? The fraud part or the, all of it? Any of it. Okay, should we get rid of all student grants? Well, what is a grant, first of all? It's what you don't have to pay back. Right, it's money you don't have to pay back. It's money for tuition and other things, school related, that you don't have to pay back. So, we should get rid of all student grants. Because it's a drain on an already overburdened state budget. Okay. How many of you would agree that the, the state slash federal budget is burdened right now? Yes. <laughs> so that's a valid point. Most people would agree that there's lots of financial problems going on. Um, how about the second part? It's unnecessary because of, you know, why can't you use student loans? You actually want to say something? Do you eventually have to pay it back with interest? So what's wrong with that? Really have, well, I mean, like, you have to pay back as soon as you graduate. You have to start paying back, and some students start to have jobs as soon as they get out. So it'll take a little bit longer, plus it'll take maybe 10 or more years to actually completely get rid of all those loans that you have to pay. So you'd be in debt, basically. Okay, so you brought up two, two important points here. Not all students are going to be able to get a job immediately after college. Sometimes or, the loans aren't enough by themselves. Sometimes the loans themselves don't cover everything. So grants kind of pick up like that extra burden. Yeah. What about many students abuse the system through fraud? How can you, how do you abuse it? <laughs> um, well, you, you sign up for classes, you get your free grant money, and then you stop coming to classes and you take the money and run. Oh. Yep. And basically, you know, somebody pays for that, yeah. taxpayers. Taxpayers pay for all of this stuff. I just disagree with the second one. Or you just use it on stuff that's not related to school. Mm -hmm. Like you buy a new iPhone or you buy um, a laptop would be okay, school related, um, generally. Um, so just using it on things. Like I think, you know, like rent is under that and um, things to help you while if you're yeah. you know, while you're in school if you can't get a job. Yeah, but I'm talking about the students who stop coming to class. Well, that's what this, I mean, that's what the fraud is. I mean, you can use those grants for things like paying your rent and that sort of stuff because that's, you need that. You can't go to school unless you have a place to live. Unless you're going to live in your car and then it costs money too. So I'm talking about fraud, or, and this happens quite a bit, especially here. Students will sign up for classes. They get free money, they stop coming to classes, and they take off with that money. <coughs> they can't go back to class until they pay it off. Yeah, they, they have to. I think you can get kill certain it things, but I mean, they gotten really strict about it. Sorry to get off subject on that, but I just couldn't. Is there something that can be done about that? Well, I mean, that's part of the issue here. It's going to be on their credit, well, and, they, and once they get a job, they're going to, it's going to be, what do they do it again? 
it's going to be taken out your check or your income tax. And they will garnish for it. Yeah, they'll garnish it's it. It's not like you're just pulling one over on them. I mean, they, they know this happens all the time. Is that correct? Do they do that for FAFSA or is, or is that only student loans? Student I've never, loans. Yeah, I've never heard them. I mean, FAFSA but for people grants. get free money and still don't. They just can't free do anything and, about you know. But if it's student loans, they will take it out your check. Oh, yeah, student loans. Yeah, I, yeah. yeah. I wonder if grants. If you got to pay it back, if you decide you don't want to go, that's your choice. You're the one that has to pay it back. Now, they don't have to give it to you again the next you semester. Like, here. I'm here on a GI Bill, and if I was decide, if I decide to drop a class, i got to pay them back for that class. But I still have my money to go to school. So if it's, you know, it's, you have every right to not want to go to class if you don't want to, but you got to pay that back, and you might not, you know, they shouldn't give you another it's chance. Mess your to do it. Up yeah, too. I mean, they should stop in the future, maybe give you one, one shot. You know, okay, well, you messed up last time. We'll give you one more chance, and after that, you're done. But you know, but you, if you if you have to pay yeah. back anyway, that's your that's your choice to go or not. I mean, you're gonna have to court that money over anyway. You might as well, you know, do what you want with it. If you drop one class and take all your other classes, you're on academic probation until the for the next year, and you have to submit a letter stating why you why you had to drop the class, and it has to be go before the board and get approved before you can even get any uh, further financial aid. So they do have systems or like, you know, things. Well, you could probably do it one time, but I mean, after that one time, it's, I mean, after that one semester, you pretty much cut off. I mean, yeah, that's the way the school does it. I mean, you got one year probation if you mess up, and then after that, you got to wait two yeah. years or something like that before you can reattend again. That's what it was like 10 years ago. I don't know what it is now, but I don't know. Like, I dropped a class earlier in the semester, and I had to pay them back. The GI Bill I had to pay the government back that money for that class I dropped because I took the class that was too advanced. Yeah, but that's not a grant, though. Yeah, I mean, but I mean, grant, you still have to, you have to pay it back. No, grants are free. Oh, you don't? No, no it's free don't. money. You don't oh, pay okay. it back. Oh, I was misunderstanding student loan. Grant, no, oh, grant, yeah, if, you grant. Don't, if you don't pass your class, then no, you need to Well, and it's not just off. passing, it's just, there's student, I mean, how many students were there initially in this class? Yeah. There's a few that No, if you get the grant and you don't show up the class, you don't, you know, then, but no, they shouldn't give you here anymore. Money. That's your chance. You messed up. Oh, you well. should have to pay it back. I mean, yeah. So see, my my argument okay, I thought you had to pay grants. I was under the wrong impression about that. Student, no, because of student loans. I mean, why why are grants even necessary? That's the only part I disagree with. Just a second. Is that this part correct? Um, so what about this one? Just because I put here many students. I don't even know how many. It's a very vague number. Some students. Abuse the system through fault, through fraud. Does that mean that everybody gets punished because some students abuse the system? I think they should tweak the system. Yeah, it find is. A way it is. Yeah. Because a lot of good students that would attend class yeah. probably wouldn't be able to, you know, wouldn't take advantage. Wouldn't be able to get a grant because they, they own so many grants. They don't give them out to everybody. I don't think so. I don't know personally. I think if you don't go to class, you don't pass your class. They should make you pay it back. Yeah. They're supposed to. Actually, there there are some measures in here. I'm supposed to. So that's why I had to report you, Justin, as a no show. <laughs> I'm supposed to do that. See, I'm supposed to do that. People, if people don't yeah. show up to class at all, I'm supposed to report them sooner rather than later. Yeah, if we would have taken care of that, I would have had to pay back my full tuition for this class. But but those students, part. that means they don't get their grant money, or they don't get whatever, or they're not supposed to. Um, or if you know, I have to report a last day of attendance for students who failed a class. So for those who showed up the first two times and haven't seen since, I have to report that last day. That way they have to pay back, or they're supposed to pay back, the money, a percentage at least, of that money where they weren't in class for the majority of the semester. So there are some measures in there. Um, but my whole point in this is I was trying to get you to rebut this argument. That's what a rebuttal is, is you're kind of um, taking issue with someone's argument. And you know, maybe you agree with some of it, maybe a portion of it, but not all of it. 
So it's kind of, um, well, there are actually two different ways that you can rebut um, an argument. There's refutation, where you actually go through each of my because um, clauses here. Because it's the drain on an already overburdened state and federal budget. Most people agree with that and acknowledge that. But, and there's also this other because, it's unnecessary due to student loans. And I think uh, most, I think that seemed to be the point that most people took issue with. Like, well, wait a minute, but there's also this, 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 and this. So you are refuting, not all, but at least a portion of my argument here. So refuting is, is looking at each each of the uh, of the different facets of the argument and kind of saying, oh, I don't agree with this because, or I don't agree with this section because. But